What's encouraging is UKRI, the UK's uh, research and innovation sort of funding body. Um, they have now put into their um, funding criteria that all of their decisions have to consider sustainability. Mm -hmm. So that's really encouraging to see. And I think it's by 2025. Um, I might need to double check that, but by 2025, all of the decisions will have a sustainability focus mm -hmm. in mind as well. Um, but equally, until the government tell chemical manufacturers that they need to stop producing X amount of emissions a year um, and really have um, consequences to that, mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to see as quick a change as we want to see. Yeah, you just end up people dragging their heels and yeah. doing things that have I mean, always this, been done. Uh, this technology. Um, is really trying to bring about a paradigm change in the way chemicals are made. Mm. Um, these are established processes that have been used for decades, and we are trying to tell chemical manufacturers that they need to stop using them. Mm. Now, obviously, it's a business. They have to make money, and that poses a risk to them. So, I mean, what I'd like to do is be able to discuss those risks, understand those risks, and build projects around chemical manufacturers requirements yeah. in order to prove to them that this is viable yeah um, and everything i do at the moment is making sure i've got data which mm. supports what i'm trying to say we're going through a really big scaling process at the moment trying to prove that we make it um, on higher numbers of grams rather than the really small amounts you classically see in research um, and using that being able to prove that we can do this mm -hmm. um, and there are companies that are very open to that um, and I'm really encouraged by some of the guys we're working with already, who I can't name at the moment, mm -hmm. but um, they are very keen to make the changes mm -hmm. um, and really make their products more sustainable because ultimately it has to happen. Yeah. It has to happen.